Hello traders, FS Pip Collector here. Today is Tuesday, December 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on the Aussie dollar monthly, I still think this is three waves up for a W, three waves down for an X. I think we're in an A, B, C of wave Y right now, which I still believe is going to go up to about the 161% Fibonacci extension of wave A projected off the bottom of wave B of wave Y. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, we definitely had a pretty strong move down. We did have some Aussie news last night, and it is the beginning of the month. The beginning of the month is very often a counter trend move for the first few days. I actually still think we're in an uptrend, and I still think it's going to make a one, a two, three, four, and five, which would be a wave C of wave Y, just like what I was showing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we are kind of getting a little bit of a break of structure, but I actually think that break of structure is this part of a crescent. I think this is a one, two, three, and this is actually forming a crescent on the sort of time frames, and it's going to end up ending that crescent and continuing the uptrend, probably up near the 261, the 223 Fibonacci extension of wave one, projected out the bottom of wave two. So let's take a look at it on the four hour time frame. So on the 4 hour time frame, I have my Fibonacci retracement on here, which I see is not in the exact position I want, and I want it right there. Now the reason why I didn't put it up to this high right here, because I think that's actually a wave B. I think this is like an expanding flat, like a 1, 2, 3 wave down, 1, 2, 3 wave up. I think this is now in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave down pattern. If we can identify the end of this third wave right here with a break of structure on the sort of time frames at a Fibonacci level, it's probably going to be the end of a crescent, and I bet it will be the continuation of the uptrend. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, I personally think this is a wave C and you can definitely see that it's making low high, low high, low high pattern. So for me, if it breaks towards it to the upside, that's pretty much going to be the end of a crescent on the longer time frames right at the 61.8. I think that if I see a break of structure, that's going to make for an excellent trading opportunity to go long, which what I believe is going to be the continuation of a wave three on the higher time frames, most likely a wave three of wave one on like the weekly and monthly time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.